The important thing when playing the Wood Elves is to form a staunch line of spears to sit back and watch as your archers actually win the battle. The main issue with this campaign is that you only start with 419 soldiers. You almost give me an easy joke and then tickle my balls like that, game. The Wood Elves are a peaceful people who have a building chain literally just called Slaughter. Lord Daith is the sugar daddy of the literal personification of bipolar disorder. He only grants gifts to daddy's little kittens after they slaughter all who oppose them. Because he's a wise man, Lord Daith only allows one of these two crazy bitches into his forge at one time. You then have a choice. Do you refine your grandfather's AK-47, oiling the slide and getting a new grip? Or do you buy a brand new AKM fresh out of the Chinese factories? Sadly, the capitalists have infiltrated these factories and forced planned obsolescence on these powerful weapons of war. I may be Aussie, but I'm no legend, and yet I'm still pulling US ratio of casualties in Vietnam. You don't actually even need to occupy the places because going on a zipper Land raid can actually be even be better. Ah uh, yes, the Tomb Kings, or as the Wood Elves know them, the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Much like the real VC, we're taking these people to a camp. Make it quick, make them scream. That kind of camp. I fear no scathing. But that thing, it terrifies me. Good. God! Hunters! Holy shit, they actually shot a fucking eagle out of the air with a mortar! What the fuck, Skaven? I don't have a favorite child, Spears. I love you all equally. And much like communism, some of you are more equal than others. Ah, oh, we have killed all of the Skaven. Uh, the end times are uh, never gonna happen. You can thank me. As much as you'd like. Um. Uh. Did I just win the jackpot? Hello? Please stop that. Jesus Christ. The timeline is a little mixed up here as now we're going to go beat the French. We are all Ariel's children. Some more so than others. Uh, damn bro, nice walls. Yeah, how are they treating you? Sieges are, of course, just ways for the enemies to line up and make themselves really easy targets for me. Turns out it's magpie season in Australia. I haven't seen Lord of the Rings in a while, but I'm pretty sure this is how Isengard went. You may be mistaken for thinking that once you've secured the area around your Witchwood, that you're done. Unfortunately, you've never heard of the Permanent Revolution. The Wood Elves get to utilize their extensive tunnel network in order to instantly travel to anywhere else on the map. Tunnel all the way to France. Reenact the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. and behead the colonial government. Your reward for beating up the French is confederation with Laos and Cambodia. The French will attempt to buy peace so they can keep their holdings in the south. Little do they know, my guerrillas are already waiting in the bushes. Begin the Tet Offensive. Would you look at that, the last of the French are trying to recolonize Saigon. These are dark no thanks. Times. What the fuck? This, this isn't even part of the video, I just... I, I, I attacked the French people and I went to hell. What what did CA mean by this? Okay, we killed the Queen of France and hell, we're leaving now. What the fuck? I actually don't even know why they started doing this, they just started hiding in the corner with three of their cavalry units. I literally do not know why the AI has done this. Imagine trying to defend a forest full of people who refuse to give you access to their lands. When you find traitors against the cause, do not spare them, rather let them taste the flame. The incredibly based dwarves reoccupy these lands as soon as I burn the French out of them. Do not look for me in the light. I lurk in shadow. We meet with the emissaries of a demigod who won't hesitate to kill in her name. Nyauf, that's right! The funniest part about ambushing Bretonians is this implies they march with their trebuchets fully constructed at all times. Oh, they do hate the peasants. I forgot they put whip infantry into this game. I'm gonna need a few moments. It's time to summon the Soviet Air Force. Oh fuck, I used the wrong radio frequency. I see we've found the tunnel rats. On the plus side, our witchwood is fully regrown, so the ritual of rebirth is available. We're going to attempt to summon the spirit of Karl Marx, and we'll have to defend the region until we succeed. Holy shit, I actually lost zero people even in the auto-resolve. Ah, 
delicious, delicious amber. Or as you may know it, opium. By offering this opium, we can buy a tree instead and grow one of eight very powerful technologies. Oh yeah, and Ariel's here. Damn, she's kind of massive. She's a giant butterfly. The Drukai will never be defeated until the Witchwood marches to fight them at Nagarond. In probably the finest example of CJI I've seen yet, the enemy just wasn't on the wall. I, I don't know why. Okay. They got four kills in a siege. Holy shit, we can recruit a Zote. These things were in 40k as well. They were, I'm not even joking here. They were the diplomats of the Tyranids. That's a thing, that, that's what they were back in the day. That was actually lore. The Zotes would talk to people for the Tyranids and then eventually the Zotes had a rebellion and the Tyranids ate the Zotes and the Zotes got squatted and they don't exist anymore. There you go, some 40k lore for ya. Sorry, I just realized I murdered a lolly. Huh. So the High Elves are about to get their shit pushed in by Chaos, but they can actually call me in to help. Before the mistress you literally asked me to come help you and you refuse an aggression pa- My god, High Elves. I understand why you were exiled to the Donut. Where's my dragon, Cloven Ones? That's a brilliant question. God, the Zotes are just majestic. Look at them go. Oh, a bunch of Skaven slaves have shown up. Okay. Okay, Mr. Dragon, please breathe on them. Yeah, it doesn't feel so good to be on the receiving side of a warp fire thrower, huh? Some who have escaped the fighting have fled to become mercenaries. We could simply pay them to join with us again, or we could just kill them. On the plus side, those fools pick the side without any trees. As we all know, the trees grant victory. The best part is that army that we just ambushed, you know, that appeared out of nowhere, is now our army because we confederated with it. Oh god, I've just looked at my income. Yeah, bro, how hard does the AI cheat? Ah, uh, yes. Estraith, Lord of Hunger. He who all communists pray to. You could grow the forests yourselves, or just pay for other people to grow them for you. I assent. A defensive alliance means the forest is growing. Now we just have to convince the humans and the... Oh. We'll be back in 300 years when they forget that time we grew a root through one of their tunnels. My assessment? Umgak. No joke here, it is actually best for me to break all of my treaties with the Wood Elves because they're all assholes who everyone hates. After breaking my treaty with the Wood Elves, who actually don't matter for growing the Oak of Ages, I can then befriend the Dwarves, who actually affect whether the Oak of Ages grows or not. What the fuck are you on? Hello? Are you just T-posing on me? What the fuck? Excuse me, dragon. Destroy the T-pose. Well, so when Sugar Daddy can no longer give us items, he just gives us blessings, which gives all of our elf units flaming attacks. That boy's giving out napalm. I'm sorry? Oh no. Oh god. Yeah, I uh, I might just leave and go get lunch if I'm being honest. My god. You can just watch the number climb. Damn, boy! I believe the game thinks that this Skaven army is really impressive thanks to all of its warp fire throwers and rattling guns, but, uh, yeah, they ain't gonna help. Damn, bro, did you want some Waywatchers? Hey, look, I can do it too, Skaven! Eh, not so fun when it happens to you, huh? Yeah, how'd those warp fire throwers treat you, huh? What? We're now so successful, we're even reviving the forest in the desert. I'm just not gonna mention this to the Tomb Kings. See, even though they burnt the Witchwood down, Turns out they just forgot about the tunnels, so they're still working. Look, girls, I'm gonna be real with you here. I think you can take them. I think five armies is enough. You can attack. Never mind, I got it. I got it. All right. Th thanks for the help, guys. Thanks for the help. Even Carl Franz is friendlier with a wood elf than other wood elves are. Even the dwarves want to help me out. Fuck you, Orion. I wouldn't even piss on your world tree if it was on fire. All this socialist science has led up to this. The ritual of rebirth. <sighs> I recognize that face. We've just rebirthed the Oak. We're about to win. But they're sending McNamara's 100,000 to stop us. The real question I have is, how the hell could 12 of these deliver presents around the entire world without a man helping them? Bro, I think I might have too many abilities if I'm being real. Never really get tired of watching this, you know. It's like machine guns. 
Never knew that medieval battles had traces. A disgusting amount of magic has just been cast at this location. Okay, all of the beastmen are dead. I think we call that job done. Wait, the spirits of the forest are now coming to my aid? What the shit? Yeah, real nice of you to come to my aid. I beat them already. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. In conclusion, the Wood Elf campaign is pretty bloody good. There's nothing quite like fighting over the entirety of Warhammer's world, only to realize your true enemy is other Wood Elves. I'll see you next time.